Hey guys, it's me, Christina, and welcome to the first episode of Tech Tuesday. Today I'm going to be showing you a really easy way to make your own coloring book on your Note 9. If you don't have a Note 9, you can use any phone you want. For all, first, you're going to get a browser and just download a cartoon image. Then you're just going to go back home and get a background eraser app. So once you get your image, you're going to crop it as much as you want. And then um, you're going to um, edit it. So now to edit it, you're going to adjust the size of your cursor and make sure it says uh, this BG color and you're just going to tap on the spots that you want to get rid of so I'll be back with that done so I forgot to mention that you have to set it to auto and make sure the cursor offsets all the way down so that you get a precise tap you just tap it away And that's it. Now just click done and it'll save your photo. So now all you have to do is um, smooth the edges. If you want to, you could smooth in the edges. Um, I like mine on usually two because it gets rid of the color all the way. And you just click save. So after you've saved it, take out your S Pen. And then you are going to go to um, Autodesk Sketchbook and um, all we're going to do is insert the image. To do for that is click the ruler and compass and then you're going to click import image. So let me import the image. So when you find the image it's going to look like this. Oops. Yeah, whatever. It's going to look like this. It's going to be black with like a few dots depending on how smooth you made the edge. And you just want to select the image right there. Let me just erase this so you could... Yeah, there we go. So you're just going to... Select the image that kind of looks black with really nothing there and you'll see it'll come up when you are done. Once you're done, you're going to rescale the image. So I'm going to zoom in on mine just to make it a little bit bigger and then you're done. And pretty much you could just fill it in like this. But it'll cover the lines so if you don't want the lines to be covered oops, you want to add a layer so you click on this add a layer if you add a layer make sure this one's on top so I'm gonna have run one layer here and now you could see that I'm just coloring over it and the lines don't see the lines are still there you don't go over the lines it makes it so much easier to color in an image that you don't have to uh, worry about going outside the lines so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next Tech Tuesday video um, next Tuesday so yeah thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks.